This is a pink dragon fruit that they've just started selling at my supermarket now. Um, I've only actually had um, the white dragon fruit once. Uh, this is my first time tasting this variety. These have now been allowed to dry out for 24 hours so I'm now going to put them into the wet paper towel and then into the plastic bag and then somewhere warm where they can stay until um, they germinate. Okay so now they're on a wet paper towel in this plastic bag and I'm going to put them somewhere nice and warm now and I'm going to keep check up on them every single day to see any signs of germination. Um, now ideally I would have liked to use a Ziploc bag but I didn't have any so I used this uh, freezer bag that I had. Oh and just in case you're wondering I have put 40 seeds in altogether and that's just from one of my um, fruits. I have another one that I haven't eaten yet and I'll try germinating them in a different way to compare the results. Okay, so today the date is the 24th of March and there is one dragon fruit seed in here that sprouted quite a while ago. Um, I'll open it up so you can see a little bit better. Um, there are at least one or two others that have also sprouted and they've been in here for about 11 days I think now. Um, so I'm a bit surprised that more haven't sprouted but there's still plenty of time. Let me open it up and show you inside. Okay so that one right there um, sprouted um, probably about a week after it went in and the rest haven't really seemed to change much. So what I'm going to do with this I think I'm going to transplant this one today because I feel like it, it needs to be put in soil um, as soon as possible really. Okay so what I've done is I've removed the um, little seedling um, with a tiny bit of paper on and I've done that so I don't, well try not to damage the roots so much. Um, so I'm going to plant this in all together and eventually the um, paper towel should eventually become part of the soil so it get broken down hopefully <laughs> now the rest of them I'm going to leave a little bit longer in the um, airing cupboard where they have been and hopefully the rest of them should sprout soon and I'll be able to transplant them okay today it's the 5th of April and I've kind of left these a bit longer than I needed to really as you can see some of them are already opening the leaves up and trying to get some light so I'm going to be transplanting all the ones that have actually germinated and I'll leave the rest in to see if I can get any more to come up okay so as you can see I've now removed all of the ones that had started to germinate from the paper towel and 
Most of them should be okay, but I think there's one or two that I've abs accidentally um, pulled off the roots. But I'm still going to plant them all and we'll see what happens. Now, when I was planting these, there wasn't an exact depth that I planted them. I just kind of, it depended on how long they were. Some of the longer ones I put a little bit deeper and, you know, the, the very small ones I just, I didn't go down as far. Okay, so now I've watered all these plants, I'm going to keep them here in this sunny window and I will post more updates in the future of these pink dragon fruit seedlings and hopefully I'll get some more to, to take off because I think this one seems to have taken off fairly well um, and probably in a few days or so these will start to go more green and instead of this kind of yellowy looking colour. Um, so thank you for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video about dragon fruit. Mm -hmm.